Sure, I can explain all the anti-ice and aircraft systems, but I think I know someone who could do it a little bit better than me. Hey, Roger. Yeah. This guy wants to know about all the anti-icing systems on board a modern airliner. All of them? Yeah. How much time do I got? About two minutes, 30 seconds. Are you kidding me? Okay, compose yourself. Here's the caveat, folks. I'm gonna cover the basics, not everything. If you're looking to get a type rating, go to flight safety. You're at Roger Victor, you get what you paid for. First things first, folks, why do we need anti-ice systems on board a modern aircraft? Well, ice and snow can really screw up with the aerodynamic flow of air over the wing, and it adds weight. So we need to have methods to get rid of that weight and get rid of that ice and snow as it develops on board the aircraft as we fly through clouds, rain, sleet, snow, hail, and everything else in the winter and summer sometimes. Some airliners, like the Boeing 737 we're going to talk about today, have a heated wing. Other airliners have boots. Boots. We're on a clock, running out of time. What are the elements that are heated on the Boeing 737? You have flight deck window heat and windshield wipers. Not heated, but they wipe off snow and ice and rain. We got temperature probes, pedo probes. We have engine cow lip. We have leading edge slats, and we have two pedo probes on the tail. The engine cow lip, that's the forward part of the engine, that thing right there, that gets its air between the fifth and ninth stage bleeder. That's hot air coming off the engine before they burn it, okay? Just hot compressed air gets sent to the leading edge lip of that engine and that melts off any snow and ice. Moving on to the wings. The leading edge of the wing gets bleed air from the engine as well, downwind of the engine bleed valve. That's important if you want to learn systems, but not for today. There are four leading edge slats on either wing. Three of them are heated. The outboard one is not. Why? Because it didn't pay its taxes. Moving on! There are six cockpit windows on board the Boeing 737. Two forward-facing, two on the side at various angles. Four of them are heated. Two of them are not. Why? Because they didn't pay their taxes too. Moving on. Oh yeah, they're heated with electrical power, by the way. This isn't like hot air from the engine going to the window. This, this, is, this is electrical. Moving on! These are the probes and the sensors outside of the aircraft that are heated as well to prevent ice and snow from blocking our instrumentation from getting the information it needs. Also electrical, also moving on. Now before I go, here are the controls of the anti-ice system on board the 737. It's on the overhead panel way up there. And there are switches that cover pretty much every system. Here are the ones for the engines. Here's the one for the wing. Here are the ones for the window heat. And here are the probes. Now contrary to popular belief, they are not automatically on except for the probes. The probes are on automatically with the engine power. However, the uh, engines, we got to do it ourselves. The wings, we got to do it ourselves. When do we do it? When we're flying in known icing conditions or suspected icing conditions, we'll flip those on. Once we exit them, we'll turn them off. And there you have it, the anti system of the Boeing 737, everything you needed to know for a video. If you like that, post in the comments below. Until next time, remember, just F-sap it. A-sap it. Sorry. <coughs> ASAP it, and uh, we'll see you on board. Well, that's just tacky. Well, guys, this was the first in what could be a series of aircraft systems in five minutes or less with our friend here, or myself, Captain Roger Victor. Or yourself? Yeah. Why are your lips moving? I'm not a ventriloquist. Oh. If you, li if you like this video and you want to see more of it, really post in the comments below. Until next time, we'll see you on board. It's still tacky. Shut up.